Hey guys, this is Peachbro1, and I'm watching myself play Okami for the Wii, PS2, and PS3. <laughs> well, um, it's been quite a while since I've actually been LPing Okami, and right now I'm doing, um, let's play Katamari Damacy, so I don't know why I'm doing this. I just decided to just turn it on and how about it? You know, let's just look back at my old LPs and see how crap I was at this game. So, um, <laughs> dang it, that's a really long loading screen, I never noticed that. Licensed by Nintendo. Capcom! Cryware, and then checking the Wii system memory. Okay, I do not. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so. Um, fun fact. The f when I was LPing Okami for the, fir the first um, episode of Okami, it was not uploaded on Peacher Boy 1. It was uploaded on a different channel called Party Gamers USA, which was. Uh, okay, I don't really want to talk about that. <laughs> so. Story by. De Hideki, oh yeah, Hideki Kami. Okay, so I guess I'll do some narration over this. Since I didn't bother to put narration over this, long, long ago, a timely hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the white burg was honored as a god. However, the village is not without its dark secrets. So ta to satis the satitate the appetite of Orgy, a fearsome quave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on the necks ties of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone and war oh crap this is going fast anyone gazed him to no one <laughs> dared to oh crap stop past self please stop going so far please stop going so fast I'm in because okay when the night of the sacrifice drew near a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village this wolf its coat as brilliant as snow was dubbed Shiranui the wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside of the village, and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shinu's swift movements. Before long, the night of all the cursed festival has arrived. Oh gosh. A white plum plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into. The home of Nagi, Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by the sign, determined to put an end to Orochi's once and for all. He travels to the beast cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for yet another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel, the blade left in nearly a scratch.
At long last, Nagia, his energy, spent from an intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigue and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then the wolf appeared. As if to protect Navi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shirinui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shirinui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, worrying the fangs for her back. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. I left Skype on for some reason. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shirinui summoned gust of divine wind to counter Orji's flames. As Orji closed in on Shirinui, sharpened his claws, glistening. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Ah, uh, wait. Shirinui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand, however. Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shirinui, covered in gashes, and suggested coat, dead crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike with what would be the final blow. But Shirinui refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly the black clouds overhead dis dissipated. The light from above glinted off the Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword pulling high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on his string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome head separated from their own owner. Well, from their own name. Gosh. I know I couldn't do this in one take. Orgy's broken body collapsed in, in like of its own blood. It's so hard to do this in one try. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Sure knew he had succumbed to Orgy's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. Excuse me. When they reached the village, Shirinui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirinui left out a hoarse and pitiful bark. Then closed its eyes and drifted off as an F as if into slumber. Peace at last had returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Sheer Nui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shine and placed a statue of the wolves within it. Of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukiyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward in an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years has, had passed since Nagi and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village ever took notice.
Is this the legendary sword? Is this Sukiyomi? The sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend! Nothing but a fairy tale! And so, on this day, it came to pass that the Dark Lord has returned into the world. Oh, he who seeks power, he has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness in unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me, and unleash my power. Horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here the real story begins. Here we have it. What's right, Sakia? How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecies of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years. I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly, let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami Amaterasu Ah, such divine light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wonderful spectacle is none other than our mother, an origin of all that is, Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed Away, the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so, after so many years it, and the Spanish statues brings happiness in my heart. Oh my gosh. Sniff. <laughs> Does that smell like bacon to you? I smell some bacon. Amaterasu. Get us above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your ultimate departure from uh, the mist, mist, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine, bountiful country of Nippon. But never has the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the, the darkness 
and punish those who do harm to his arm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? <laughs> Has something stolen its way into my robe? Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, only 15 minutes in, and now you are making those types of jokes. Ooh, what on earth? You again? Ow, 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 ow! Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. <laughs> I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, little bug? Bug? I told you! Thousand times not to call me that! I'm ordering artist. The name's you soon. <laughs> Wandering artist, you soon. I'll show you just how great I am. It won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Oh god. <laughs> well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, Furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shirnui. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prize sword, Denku Mar Maru, against you. I don't think now's the time for that, soon. Well, what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakia girl said, sir said some real s weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't mind using some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, you know, too. What well, could happen while you're taking a nap? Yeah, I would know that. Well, I think that this is this is the end of the episode, so you should already um I already know this, so this has been Peach Boy One and I will see you guys next time with the next episode of Katamari Damasi. See you guys next time. I hope I, I'm hoping I'm able to do this with some other footage, but I don't have any other footage, so I guess.